Hey everyone, let's continue playing Wind Waker. Alright, time to do some exploring. That I'll probably have to drop when I get up there. I know there's something over here. There's this island. Now, I don't think I can actually do anything with it right now. But, why don't we give it a whirl here? Up. Okay. Okay. Whoop. You learned the wind's requiem. Oh! That, like, taught me a song. Okay, that makes sense. Well, it's a good thing we came here and did it. Whoa, frog. Yup. That's a mighty nice breeze. Pepe the Frog. The name's Zeph- oh, I'm sorry. Zephos. I'm the god of the winds, so you're the new wind waker, are ya? Great, great. For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up, well, it gives you control over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing, then you should see my brother. It saddens me to say that my brother, Silos, is miffed about his monument here being broken, and now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. So if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will ya? And that is my request for you. Alright. Alright, good stuff. Okay, I can now control the wind. Which is pretty cool. Alright, let's try to get up to the village of the people. Alright, we got bombs. Yeet. Whoop. I did not mean to blow up the other bombs. Good thing they just kind of grow back. Yo, that guy in Windfall or whatever that place was, was all up and tight about he's the only one that knows how to make bombs. Bro, on this island, bombs just grow. What was he so up and tight about? He's the only one that still makes bombs. You don't need to make them, bro. They grow. Just come and pick them off the ground. Oh, jeez, that scared me. What does this say? Huh? Oh, it's... I love how the sign says to go up, but the actual sign in game is like a whole bunch of writing. It's kind of funny. Yeet! That's not gonna be far enough. Give me another one, please. Yeet! Golden rupee. I don't know why the golden rupee's five. I feel like it should be much, much more than that. Mail center. Okay, that's where I need to go. Continue going upwards. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need this bomb here. Cleal? Okay. Oh! Alright, that was close, though. I can't run with the bomb, right? That wouldn't make any sense. Okay, no. I'm not gonna even try to roll with it. Alright, quick, quicklier. There we go. Quicklier? That is not a word, but um, it's a word now. So, are those hearts? I need those. Let me siddle, please. Also, the map on this place is... Bomb. I like this island. It's a good one. Okay. Yeet. Oh, no. Mail. Good morning. Welcome to the Island Postal Service. What do you have for delivery? Nothing. Hey, Birdman. Link? Link, is that you? It is. I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, travel far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she... Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Link. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I 
I've told my people here about you, and all of us Rito are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you aid. Uh, lend you the aid of our airy. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Link. I'll be waiting. It must be weird to not have fingers, though, right? Just have... How do you work a mailbox with just wings? I feel like your brittle little wing would get, like, shut in the door, and then you're just paralyzed. I don't know. I feel like that's gotta be that's gotta be a hard life. I wanna break this. Well I wanted to break it somewhere where I can collect the rupee rupees, but um I didn't even get that rupee. I'm gonna Ugh, watch out man, my brain is massive and pulsing currently, so don't be intimidated. Well, have you discovered the cause of the great Valu anger? So, you are Link, are you? Quill has told me about you. Troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? As you see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our living on the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. It is this scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As Chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Link with regarding to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Link is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince K Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Let me be direct. My son Kamali is of the age to earn his wings, yet he is weak in some ways and in light of the current situation he may just give up on ever getting them what say you will you share some of your courage with my son will you meet with my son i thank you we shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible so that we may better help with yours i have something i wish for you to give to my son a young girl named Medal medley is holding it for me would you find her and take it I'm counting on you. All right. Sounds good to me. Here, Link. Take this with you. Who knows? It might come in handy. Ooh, delivery bag. I can be a mailman now. With so many pockets go Betty items. Oh, okay. Cool stuff. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the great Valu to us. In the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. Bro. I'll take care of both. Don't worry about it. Look at me. Look at these legs. Okay. Where? What is this? I guess let's just go door by door. What is this weird, creepy little dungeon? Oh, wait. This is his room. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hey, what you got there, man? Uh, Who are you supposed to be? What do you want from me? I don't want to talk to anyone right now. Okay, I think that's his only dialogue. Okay. Alright, so we have to come back with the item from Medley, I'm assuming, before I can actually talk to him at all. Why is he so secluded over here? And, like, Bro needs to get, like, a Switch or something to play. Can I, like, can I smash into these? Okay, no. 
What are you? Dragon Roost Cavern. Okay, so that's where we're gonna have to probably go to continue the rest of this quest. But for now, I think I still need to find Medley. Alright, the mail is over there. That's a fun little mini game. Right, this is Medley, right? Wow! You really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. You're Link, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm. I'm an attendant to the great Sky Spirit Valu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is f from the chieftain. Link, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. Father's letter? Okay. Why not use it to carry the letter? Okay. Alright. The, the way you yeah, go back to first floor. Yeah, you have to. Okay. Yep. When you please don't get offended by his manner. He has, he has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, listen, Link. I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of the Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. Yes, I will definitely do that. Let's see what's over here first. Oh, shoot. Well, I'm assuming this is the cavern. Lava. Bombs. Rock. Very nice. Um, it's completely dried up. Yeah, maybe the rock is blocking something. Hmm. Hint, hint. Alright. What is over here before I go do the mailman game? Hey, bro. Every year, the Rito sponsor a Birdman contest. Wonder if we'll have one this year. No time to waste. Everyone's so busy. Back to work. Okay. So once we fix everything, I think we'll be able to play some form of game with people. Alright, that I'll need probably like a hook shot or something to get across. Or like a uh, parachute. Um... Okay, so he just told me to go to the shrine below. Yeah, oh yeah, right there, right there, right there. We need, we would need the yum, yum thing. I, I don't know what it's called, bro. The hook, the swingy hook. Um, oh, I want to check out this room before I do the game. There's a lot of stuff in here. Yeet. I wonder if there's any like actual good treasure in here. Try to break two at once. Hmm. Okay. There doesn't seem to be any form of secrets up here yet. This room is definitely used for something or where they where they wouldn't have added it here, but I'm not sure what it's used for just yet, so let's continue. Well though. I've not seen your young face before. Nope, don't believe so. Hmm, you wouldn't be here in response to our posting for some part-time help, would you? Oh, excellent, that's good. But first, to see if you, I can use you or not, I need you to give you a little test. Just a small one. Match the seal in the envelope with the same icon on the shelf and throw the letter onto that shelf. Really easy, simple. Um, okay. Yep. Sure. Bonk. This isn't that bad, dude. Wrong one. Alright, so we would've got 23 if I didn't mess up that last one. 22! Great! Good! Terrific! You pass! Okay, you get 1 rupee for every 2 letters. That comes to a grand total of 11 rupees. Come back anytime. I mean it. Anytime. The more letters you sort, the more you learn. Not a bad idea. Okay. Yo, this might be a good way to make money, actually. Yeah, let's do it. Yep. Oop. Almost messed that up.
I don't like it when they're like across the map. Wrong one. Wrong one. 20? Okay. Um, okay. The better you do, the higher your salary. Uh, let's, keep, let's keep doing it a few times. Alright, so we need to do 25 this time. You have amazing coordination. Seriously, I'm stupefied and in incredulous. We veterans do this all day long, and even we have a hard time reaching that amount. I've got to give you more money. Got to. Three rupees per letter comes to 75 rupees. How's that sound? Three rupees per letter? Hey, your name wouldn't happen to be Link, would it? It is, isn't it? Hmm, I thought you looked like the lad that Chieftain was talking about. In that case, I should have expected you to be able to pull off something like this. I've heard all about you. Yes, I sure have. You've had a rough time, Link. I feel bad making you help us. But hey, things are looking up. Our new helper has just arrived. Maybe you can give him some advice the next time you come by. What about my money? Link, be a pal and give our new helper some pointers the next time you're around. Dude, I just did the 25. Dude, give... Where's my money? Oh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I don't care. Where's the new helper? More importantly, where's my money? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know which guy you're talking about. Alright, either way, doesn't matter. We'll come back. Eventually, hopefully. Alright, let's go talk to Sad Boy in the basement. Ouch. And then we'll join Medley. Where she told us that she wanted to do. Hey! Whoops. What do you want from me, huh? I don't want to talk to anyone right now. Well, I've got something for ya. Open this bad boy up. Uh, here you go. A letter from my father. Oh, sure, telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go get a scale from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What, are you trying to say that you can calm Valu down? Psh, that's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what, if you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Okay. Well, I guess I know what we're doing next. Let's meet up with Medley and um, probably make our way up then. Man, all the bomb plants are dried out. Hey, you actually came. I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. See this place? There used to be a beautiful spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely, but then the great Baloo, he became so angry and... In his rage, he shook the mountain and his boulder crashed down, plunging the spring. Plugging the spring, you can see the result. But, where is my mind? Tell me, how was Prince Kamali? I don't know if this is the best place to talk. I've got fire in my nostrils, bro. Look at, look at all these particle effects. 
Oh, that doesn't sound right, not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali's taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the great Valu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed her in her dealings with the great Valu. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I'd possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Link, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of the dragon's roost, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Phew, thank you. Okay, pick me up. Then face the ledge and toss me. The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. Alright, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me in as hard and far as you can. So the wind... Yeah, I need the wind to go in a different direction. Okay, hold on. So now it's going to the right. Now it's going to the left. I'm waiting for it to go. There we go. That's what we need. Oh, apparently I need to do it from farther away. I'm, f I'm fine. <laughs> that didn't hurt. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, once. Once more with the wind, please. Well, that was kind of funny. Oh, I probably need to toss her from the high ground to Anakin. Okay. Going to the left. Oop, I'm not lined up correctly. There we go. Thank you. I think now we'll be able to climb Dragon Roost to meet with the Great Valu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may just be an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Valu's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I have. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. Better be a bottle. It's a bottle. Uh, send and, okay, bottles are great for carrying water and holding on to other things like super potions. Oh, and please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck to both of us. Ah, don't worry, I'll join you in a second here. Go to the bottle. Do that. Go over here. Grab some of that good, good. Looks dry and withered. Alright, let's make our way over to the dried bomb plants. We'll, no we'll need to do this kind of quickly. Water. We grab this. Hmm. Question, can I just throw the bomb right over? Oh. Yeah, that works, too. Ooh, a lot of particles. My game doesn't like that. Alright, cool. So now, we can just swim across and help her out. Good stuff, good stuff. Kinda, it looks kind of like nasty water. I mean, I live in Michigan, so I know what Flint water looks like. This is definitely some flint water. It's kind of gross. Um, oh, I'm guessing we're playing Michael Jordan here. Yeet. Alright. Never said I was Michael Jordan, though. Whoop! That. Okay, so a little too far. I need to hit it from the back. Yeet? Nope. Not one of these times. Don't worry about it. I'll get it. Oh! Kobe. Alright, there we go. Let's go see what metal he's up to. Hmm. Dragon Roost Cavern. Can I push, pull? Oh, 
Oh, grab. Yes. That's what I need to do. There we go. Alright. Time to duel. Time to did it did did the duel. Yay! You're trash. Oop, wrong way, bud. Ooh, joy pendant. Well, let me attack. Give me another joy pendant. Nice. Okay. Hmm. Alright, locked door. That's a treasure. A treasure, uh stand thing. Yeet. I want to jump in. Let me jump in the mysterious pot. That's always the best thing you want to do in these circumstances is jump into a random strange pot. Okay, I'm, I need a key for this, right? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Water jug? Yep. Oh, I know what I need to do. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm a, I'm, I'm a smarty pants. So, grab this. I need to go to this. And then... I light this. I light that. Oh, smoke key. Okay. Oh, I know. This is probably, like, the exit. Like, far at the end of the cave, there will be a stewing pot that brings me here. That makes sense of why I can't take it right now. Hmm. Oh. Probably use my sword. I can break things without using my head. I do have to remember that. Locked. All right, we could probably grab this. Now, oh, can I get on top of it? Parkour. Hmm. Ooh, those bats are no good. I tell you what. Let's grab this bad boy. Oh, not far enough. Oh! Actually, it is far enough. Alright, what's in door number one? A whole lot of lava. Well... If Minecraft has taught me anything, water and lava makes obsidian. Minecraft taught me this. Alright, so it's in the chest. This is the dungeon, so I'm assuming it's either going to be a dungeon map or something of that sort. Yep, dungeon map. Big ol' surprise. Alright, cool. Need more water jugs. Ooh, he almost just fell in the lava. What a little... Ooh, jelly. Hey, man, you want to not knock me... Knock me off, please. Heart, I actually... I really need that heart, so I'm glad he gave that to us. The room has gotten a lot colder all of a sudden. Can't, can, can I use my head? Okay, no, I can't. I can't just use my head. Ow. There's probably a lever or key in here. No. Oh, I have. I need his big sword. Um. Okay, I can't swing it. I need to throw it. That's odd, but okay. Um. 
Um, I need... I need another stick. A wooden stick. Bro, Link, pull your sword out, you genius. That's what I was trying to do. He just... More jellies. Ooh, red chew jelly. Okay. I can use this to make potions. Very nice. Alright. Took like a five minute snack break. Um, There's some bombs. I still need a stick though. This is, this is what I have to do, right? Like, I, I don't see what else could possibly be the answer for this. Other than hitting the bomb with a rock. Yeah! Okay. I just suck at throwing things, apparently. But yeah, that was definitely it. Hello? Alright, does anybody have a... S Can I just yeet this from here? Okay, for some... Th th these two light things made me think that I need fire. That is not the case. You just need the big old sword stick thing. Hey, small key. Okay, well... I was thinking this was something optional. No, actually, we need this because there's that other door that we need to open now. Over here. Ouch. Alright, open sesame. Whoop. I need... Put out your sword, please, Link. Come on, man. We're on the job. Heart. Jelly. I love it when my attacks don't register, but theirs do. That's a super sick animation, though. Basically just hopping right over them. Okay. What I need? I need to just stick, right? I need your stick. Use this. Catch this bad boy on fire. Throw it at this thing. This reveals a button. Blink. Open door. Hmm. I'm gonna throw a vase at him. <laughs> 